Alright guys, so let's test out this new version of the uh, Jupiter Fighter I call it the Jupiter Fighter X This paper plan is very special Because if you throw it too hard The plan won't fly very well, it will crash instantly But if you throw it with enough power When I say enough power, that means just enough So do not throw it too hard uh, keep your power with you just push it um, and throw it light and let's check it out now you can take a look at that's how I throw it and it's fly very very far very unique paper airplane I make sure that there's no winds in your area but if there is wings man the plane won't fly very well so let me pick it up and I'll throw it again all right. Wow. Happy New Year, everyone. How is your plan for 2020? Do you plan to do anything? If not, follow me and make more paper airplanes. On this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make a new version of the Jupiter Fighter. I call it the Jupiter X. The cool thing about this paper airplane is it is very easy to make and this flies very far. Now let's begin. The paper airplane is folded with a piece of your letter size paper. If you don't have your letter size paper, use A4 paper and it should work as well. Now let's begin. First step, let's me fold the paper in half horizontally. I will make sure that all edges are light up. And I press the paper down. Alright. On the following step, unfold the paper. Flatten it out. Next step, let's start from this upper edge for both sides to the center crease. Once you finish this side, repeat the same fold for the other side. Now, let's start from both edges, four ball edges to the center crease as well. Rest this down. Repeat the same fold for the other side. Press down. Perfect. On the following step, this is a little bit tricky, but let's flip the paper over. Now you don't know how to fold, right? I'll show you an easy step. So start from this side of the paper, first backward. When you fold backward, make sure that your index finger hold the paper at the center. You will fold up and then you will check it. Here we go. Now I hold the paper at the center of the blend and I fold this part of the paper down. I will fold down first and I will make sure that all the edges are lined up and the center crease should match with each other. Look at this. So the center crease of the other part doesn't match with the center crease of this part. I will adjust it a little bit and then I put it down. I hold it. Make sure that it matches. And you see that the center of the paper airplane is right here on the piece of paper. Now I will press this down. There we go. So after you fold the paper down, let's start from both sides of the paper again. Fold it to the center crease. So I start from this side first. I fold to the center crease. Perfect. And I repeat the same fold for the other side. Press the paper down. There we go. This looks very good already. Now. Let's flip the paper over. Okay. 
on this part of the paper, I will frustrate up. So if I fold it straight up, I can fold the paper in half and make the wings. But that is not what I want to do. I will do it this way. I will fold the paper like this first and I flip it over. You can see this part of the paper airplane, I fold it down. I will hold the paper airplane right here. I just turn the paper like this. You can see it clearly. I fold straight down. I press the paper down hard. Here we go. So this is what we have so far, right? The problem with this paper airplane is it's quite heavy on the back. This size of the paper, the wings, the back is quite heavy. So the plane doesn't fly very well. If you keep the paper this way, fold the paper down, make the wings. For an example, I will show you how to do this. This is just another version of, of the Jupiter fighter. You fold it like this and you fold the wings down like I'm having right now. Okay, let me show you how to do it first. Show you the um the uh, the second version of the Jupiter fighter. Okay. You can fold it like this and fold this down like this to create the wings. Here we go. Let's unfold the paper airplane. You this paper airplane still fly if you fold the end of the wings up. I will show you how I fold it. I first up a bit like this. And for this side up a bit, and the distance is the distance of the uh, elevators or stabilizer is about uh, the height of it is about um, half an inch. So just I just show you how it would look like. Here we go. So you can fold the paper airplane like this, and it still fly. It's fly okay. It's fly pretty well actually. So let me adjust this side so. There we go. So let's take a look. So this is one version of the Jupiter fighter, but this is not what I'm going to show you guys to do today because this version I already made a long time ago. Okay, so I just uh, unfold the paper airplane. All right, and I put it back where it should be. This should be, this is exactly what we have before I fold the other step, correct? So I fold this part of the paper down again. Alright. Now, this part of the paper is heavier than the head. And it's, it's a problem. It will make the blend doesn't fly very well. So I fold this size up again. And you see the crease that we just make. I start from this tip, I first to that crease. Here we go. There we go. There we go. And I can fold this part of the paper down again. You can take a look at this. Right? And you can see this part of the paper airplanes. These two pieces are pulling down. So I fold it inward. I can curl the paper again and push it in until I match to the crease that I just made. There we go. You can take a look at this. Now the paper airplane is very solid because all pieces of the paper airplane are, are stick together. They are stuck together. And now it's very strong paper airplane. It should fly better. So I put this one back again. I fold this size here to keep both parts of the paper uh, uh, up these pieces of the paper together and I fold the paper in half. Now this is a little bit hard because this part of the paper is heavy now so adjust the paper slowly otherwise you will break it so I fold this this way and press this here we go so this is what you see so far I put the paper back now start from this edge I match it to the other edge to create the first wing very simple I fold I curl and then I press this down And I press this down hard. Here we go. So I finished the first part of the paper airplane, the first wing. Flip the paper over. I fold the other sides of the wings. Same step, right? Just like this. I just fold it 
forward and press the paper down. And it should look very good now. Okay. But look at this. The top of the plan, this will be like this. Okay. I'll make this look more like a carbon. And I will adjust the wings at this time. I will put the paper down. Rest beside the paper to adjust it. You will see the difference when you throw this paper airplane. This is much, much different than the original Jupiter fighter. And I really like this paper airplane. One of my best designs this year. So, I adjust the wings, I adjust the body of the paper airplane. And you can hold the paper airplane right here at the center of the plane. When you hold it, you will feel this is stronger, thicker, and this is easier for you to hold because... Because what? Because this is thicker, right? And it's stronger. You can hold it hard. It doesn't break the airplane before this part of the paper airplane is not hard enough. Now, look at this. The end of the wings, I will not fold straight up. You can fold this way too. You can fold the paper airplane up like this. It's really cool, right? Really cool paper airplane. But this is not what I like. I like this case down this way. Very unique, right? Same thing for this side. I will fold straight down. I'll fold straight out and like this. All right, both sides should be even, and I make it straight up. Here we go. So after you finish the paper airplane, it will look like this. But if you fold the stabilizers down like this, the plane will not fly well. So you put out a little bit. All right, everyone. So we just finished the Jupiter Fighter X. It will not fly well at this point because it's missing the elevators. To fix the problem, just let me elevators. All right, so at the end of the wings on both sides, let fold both sides up like this. When you fold both sides up, the plane will fly very well, but sometimes if you fold too much, the plane will fly straight up and then down quickly. To make sure that it will glide for a long distance, let adjust it a little bit. It depends on the piece of paper that you use. It depends on the thickness of the paper airplane, of the paper. If we decide how you fold the elevators up more or less. All right. So let's test this out now. And don't forget to like the video, share the tutorial with your friends, subscribe my channel, click on the bell button for the new videos. And finally, thank you for watching and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.